Hello traders, welcome to the weekly market overview with me Pierre at PFX. I hope you all had a great trading week last week and we are really looking forward for the upcoming week. So as usual, while I wrote the intro and disclaimer, hit that like button for me and if you're new to the channel, do not forget to subscribe. See you there. Welcome back guys, uh, a quick look at the news calendar, as you know, uh, if you're watching the video on Sunday, the 26th of May, we have the European Parliament elections, and tomorrow Monday it is a bank holiday both in UK and uh, in the US, so it's going to be a very quiet Monday, so better to skip Monday and uh, start trading on Tuesday and keep an eye on those new events we have during the week, especially keep an eye on the headlines from the UK. Um, now since uh, Theresa May uh, stepping down to have an idea who's been next and uh, of course keep an eye on how the European Parliament elections gonna come out. So uh, yeah, we will start with the charts and um, I'm starting with gold here. We've been mentioning this uh, gold chart uh, last week that we broke uh, back below the trend line and uh, said that we're going to probably test this uh, bullish trend line that been acting as uh, good support so far. So I will repeat myself once again. Here we've been tested four times and uh, was well, the fifth time uh, last week here. We've got a very nice bounce from that uh, level after uh, testing this trend line and testing this. It didn't really test really deep in this area, which was expected to do so, but we had a nice, uh, a little bounce followed by flag and a breakout. And there is a possibility for gold to uh, keep going from here. So you need to watch this ongoing correction now, if it's gonna, be an extended one making another flat uh, flag here uh, to then uh, a break out of it could uh, give you a signal for more upside maybe to retest these previous highs up here so uh, this possibility is still on the table and since we're still holding above this uh, major trend line, I think that is uh, a very possible scenario. Unless we break below this structure, gold could be still a buy scenario from this level. Uh, to keep selling, I want to see it breaking below this area to then start looking at uh, around the 1242 area as next possible market objective on gold. Okay, so. Um, possible start for a bullish move keep an eye on this ongoing correction right now if it's gonna break to the upside then you should follow that move euro usd also a pretty nice move from this level i told you last week in the weekly overview that to keep an eye on this level and we know that uh, it is an important level since it was a very very nice support here and we shoot very strongly to the upside from that that area back then when tested that level so uh, what i said was um, if we test this low once again look to look for buys we had a very nice uh, push from that level um, those of you who follow me on uh, facebook and twitter you saw surely uh, my trade on um, on the euro because um, I went long from uh, somewhere in this area and um, had a very nice uh, push to the upside. Yeah, uh, there was no signal here, so it was a limit order trade. The simple uh, case is that it is a pretty interesting level, a very nice low price, and uh, that's why I uh, took the trade. So again, uh, if you really keep want to see those daily updates, you need to. Um, Follow me on uh, Twitter here to the, to the right down here. You have my uh, Twitter account and uh, Facebook uh, down here to the left. Um, you could follow me there as well to keep getting those updates. So in any case, we had a very nice bullish engulfing candle on the daily followed by another candle that gave us a higher high and higher close. So structure wise, there is not much now unless we reach this uh, 
previous highs here these previous structures and we do still have this uh, trend line coming from above here so keep an eye on that uh, lower time frame uh, the first level I would be watching as a possible support area that would be uh, this level here as a possible uh, buy area for another leg to the upside the reason I'm saying that that this market did act support here previously and as you see even this whole structure is a flip zone of support and resistance and last week we broke above previous high we broke back above this um, support structure uh, to the upside so the first uh, scenario i'm looking for here now after uh, tagging this previous low down here is to see if we're gonna get a some kind of correction start looking at this level as first as your possible um, buy area yes um, this market if it break back below and making some kind of flag to the downside then we start looking once again to see if we're gonna get any bullish evidence from uh, this area but first level look up here uh, at uh, this area for a possible bounce to the upside uh, sterling usd very very weak uh, market as you see many bearish days in a row and it did actually reach a level that i have marked on my chart for a very long time ago so uh, i'm talking about this area and uh, this here so it was resistance here acted support here and uh, we had a lots of tests here fake out below that fake out below that here as well and um yeah last friday we uh, or thursday we almost tested that area uh, and we've got a, a morning star formation with this uh, doji candle on the daily followed by a, a higher high and higher close on the daily signaling a possible reversal at least short term correction up toward monthly s1 i think uh, we do have some trouble on the way before that we have this area here of um, structure as well could give you some trouble on the way to the upside but there is a possibility that we see some correction now after this market being in the oversold for a long time uh, for our time frame a uh, nice uh, little reversal pattern we broke above these highs but still it is not the strongest uh, signal this market could give you another push to the downside but from here and especially if uh, the dollar weakness continue look for a possible buy here if you get another retest uh, it may be generate some kind of double bottom uh, with uh, some divergence we had already divergence going on here if you look at it uh, like this from uh, this low to this low as you see on the price the price was putting lower lows while the rsi was making higher uh, lows so uh, possibility to continue higher is there uh, in uh, some kind of correction to the to the upside um, so what we want to see now is uh, that we uh, two things we either start making some kind of correction and uh, look for a breakout of that flag or something like that or another retest to this level to start looking for possible bullish evidence down here for that uh, short term correction to happen you need also to keep an eye on those uh, headlines from the uk absolutely but i think could be time for some correction on this market usd jappy um strong push to the downside after breaking this channel so on the daily time frame we have this impulse this correction is over and we probably looking for another impulse to the downside <clears throat> which gonna mean 108 area gonna be in play once again down here you see this uh, range been holding um, uh, in the past nicely as uh, support and resistance level and uh, yeah we may be uh, test that uh, next week as well especially if uh, the stock market uh, keep pushing to the downside so on the four hour time frame we had this um, some kind of correction here we broke that uh, the market objective is surely to test these lows down here and if broken then look for more downside on uh, on UJ, yeah so for more downside you want to see a break below this a slow correction back or a retest of that broken structure to then look for uh, the continuation toward the 108 area that may give you some trouble on the way down uh, 
so that could be the the market objective on on uh, on this one yeah uh, you see the beer's been in control very very strongly since that retest of the monthly s s1 uh, up here um, USD chief continues to the downside. We've been talking about this um, market since we reached uh, these highs and we failed to make new high. I was saying start looking for a possible downside, guys. It took um, a nice dip lower, a correction to then break one more time. Market objective here is surely to test this low down here around the monthly S1. So if we go down to lower time frame, you see it very nice and clear here. Impulse, correction, broken correction, and another impulse. So I think the market objective is to reach this level. Now we are very close to that. Uh, so keep an eye on this monthly S1 area. Uh, could give you uh, possible uh, correction from this level if we um, start getting uh, another one of these so the market does this and start correcting slowly to the upside you should be looking for another leg to the downside to test these lows down here especially a break below this low here uh, that will signal another leg so another one like this we had here this whole move to happen again uh, that's what i'm looking for on this market uh, here if we go to the daily uh, you see that we broke a key support level uh, or a key swing low i would say and now we have a lower high a lower low another lower high and uh, yeah uh, if the uh, the scenario on the four hour as i showed you happen once again another flag there is a possibility that this market uh, test these lows down here as well USD CAD still inside this uh, range and um, it's it been a great range to trade and uh, there's nothing new here uh, keep playing this range by the low sell the high until we have a breakout next week we maybe have a catalyst for that as you see we do have uh, uh, some uh, CAD news uh, we do have the uh, BOC rate statement the overnight rate we after that we have uh, uh, a speech we have a GDP month on month as well so we may get the catalyst uh, midweek uh, next week on this market if it's gonna keep pushing higher or um, down move what I'm looking for on the longer time frame uh, is that um, we have this and this long-term correction another impulse long-term correction and the question is if we're gonna break for another move to the downside like this this is my first aim on this market but it is uh, in a consolidation area here and it could still give you one more bounce to the upside maybe go stack the highs here before it start moving to the downside again that is very possible but as for now keep following this market on the lower time frame keep an eye on this range I remember last week despite this very strong push to the upside we failed to tag the highs we failed to make new highs which signaling a possibility for uh, a move back down all the way down here yeah now keep an eye on oil since oil is uh, the main driver right now but uh, the news event for the cat is as well going to be important so if you look at oil very fast you see that we had um, a nice uh, impulse correction another impulse we may start getting this correction to the upside before the next leg to the downside so while this correction happening and if that is the case that we do get that correction to the upside that should mean if oil correcting up this will move back down here until we get those uh, CAD news yeah um, in any case this is the range as I said earlier a break below the range here could send us back down toward this level here and uh, the bigger trade is when and if we break this whole uh, uh, major trend line here when that is the case that is when you want to be in that short uh, uh, short trade absolutely uh, Aussie USD uh, also reached a uh, interesting area down here um, looking left we have uh, this support and this support uh, we've been inside this area for a while now on the daily time frame it failed to make new lows so I am seeing right now this low as a key level where we have the monthly S2 this is the key support on this market and uh, on the four hour time frame we had a nice nice rounded bottom 
look for some correction and to see if we're gonna get that break to the upside a cup, possible cup and handle scenario in any case uh, this is now our key support any retest to that level we should be looking for possible buy at, the, at this low uh, down here if this got taken out then the continuation to happen at least to this level so um, looking for buys only on this market after such a move to the downside it being very very strong uh, push to the downside and it could correct at least toward this level before uh, see a reversal or if we're gonna break again and continue higher i will keep update you on that of course but for now <clears throat> look for a possible buy on this one new zealand usd same scenario a very extended move on the daily and it could be time for some reversal here um, we've got uh, a nice retest of this uh, these structures down here as you see so um, this in this support uh, bullish engulfing on Thursday nice follow-up on Friday we broke previous highs as well we breaking out of the channel so a daily clip close out of the channel and uh, yeah it is still not 100% uh, there yet to, to call it a reversal but also a nice rounded bottom uh, we tested the monthly s1 and um, the rsi is already at the overbought so um, a correction back down here then we start looking to see if we're gonna get some kind of uh, bullish evidence back in this area for more upside what's important here is the daily channel is now broken and um, we uh, broke previous highs so uh, the question is what is the market objective is it just a retest to this level or it is a retest to higher area in any case we could take a uh, fibonacci retracement tool we see that my in my level of interest are around the 38.2 uh, where we had uh, these all these structures here and uh, and this one and absolute best level for uh, the beers to defend gonna be the 618 area and this whole structure up here yeah so if we keep seeing momentum to the upside this could be a possible market objective to reach the 618 area okay new zealand cat same scenario tested this uh, nice uh, support area coming from these levels the neckline here uh, monthly s2 and uh, we've got a nice uh, morning star formation on this one as well um, we have this hammer followed by a higher high and higher close on the daily and friday another uh, bullish day so uh, new zealand cat uh, really have a nice uh, reversal pattern here and um, yeah even this one we've got the rsi at the overbought on the four hour on the daily it still have lots of room to the upside and i think the market objective is if we start reversing is to reach this level up here so uh, even on this one i'm looking for buys uh, any retest toward monthly s2 is to look for another leg to the upside on uh, this one as well so uh, yeah that was the last one thanks a lot see you next week bye bye